Recently, I've been trying to focus on the source of emotion during the act of painting. The connection between any form of art and emotion is always present. The most common thought is that the creative act touches or in some way is in contact with emotion. This relationship is not to be taken for granted, but I personally have never really placed much importance on identifying it in any greater detail. In the past few paintings, I've been thinking about exactly which emotions I experience while painting. The practice of meditation has helped me in this task. Daily meditation helps me filter out all of the noise inside my head and guides me to a clearer state of concentration. Applying this practice to painting has unearthed a simple discovery of exactly where my emotion lies during the act of painting. While painting, I am manipulating the paint on a surface and I am totally immersed in the challenge of finding solutions for the harmony of the painting. In other words, I am conscious of an intuitive search for the right balance of what I see in front of me and what I am able to produce with the paint. 90% of this activity is searching and manipulating physically the paint, reacting rather instinctively to each touch of paint. The other 10% is the joy of finding that harmony. Yes, definitely a sense of joy. It is passing and ephemeral, but it is also deep and vital. I'm not joyful during the entire activity, nor am I joyful for the end result of the painting. It is only a drifting, sleight-of-hand emotion that permeates my being, for an instance, when what I'm looking at outside of me between the painting itself and the subject matter, strikes a balance with what my inner eye perceives and desires to express and paint. I can't complete my discussion about emotion and painting without identifying the underlying causes. In this case, what is the cause of the emotion? For the analysis of this question, I will rely on the four causes of Aristotelian thought, specifically the causa efficiens and the causa formalis. The attributes of the causa efficiens are attached to what the artist encounters and is confronted with in either direct visual perception or in the artist's imagination. This encounter causes the potential for painting. We can think of this simply by the sensation of either starting, modifying, or finishing a painting, or the spirit that moves one to paint. It is the conscious perception of otherness, the beginning of objectivity. The attributes of the causa formulas come through the artist's agency in a visible form which can be simplified by thinking of emotion or feeling. This cause is initiated by the causa efficiens, which is the content of sensibility rising to the surface to become experience. Emotion is the manifestation of this experience. Using an example, I can see the apple which I am painting. I analyze the local color that I perceive with my eyes and mix and apply a color from my palette to the surface of the painting. All of this can be done using exclusively the cause of efficiens by concentrating on the sheer perceptual sensations. But when I see that the painted surface harmonizes with my inner eye, in other words, I am satisfied in some way with the relationship between the real object, what I have created in paint, and my inner imagination about the object, I experience an emotion or feeling. It is through the realm of the cause of formulas that I encounter the emotion of joy. A clear idea of the difference between sensation and emotion is important in order to understand the culture of an individual person as well as any collective group of people. If the sensation of any given experience resolves into thought without the necessary passage of sensation, emotion, thought, the experience loses an important step of assimilation. In reality, it is virtually impossible to pass directly from sensation to thought because emotion resides in the sphere of the unconsciousness. 
but realizing the difference between where sensation ends and emotion begins and becoming mindful of the emotional sphere can help to identify exactly the unconscious process that can be intellectually valued in the end result of thought. I think of this process as an emerging awareness of the sensations which I receive continuously taking root in my subconsciousness in the form of a concrete registration which is emotion. The light that passes through the lens falls on the surface of the film and registers its effect in the sanctuary of our heart. Awareness becomes a subjective manifestation of the relationship between what is outside of me and what is inside of me. Painting from reality lends itself well to the process of assimilating a subjective experience. The awareness of the difference between sensation and emotion allows me to harness the potential of the subjective unconsciousness in order to form a more holistic and objective experience.